Joining us this morning, Dr. Sarah Lipkin from Evans East Hospital, and of course, our friends with Rocky Mountain Feline <laughs> Rescue and Wylander here. What a beautiful color she's I know. Got. She, he's, he's handsome. Oh, yeah. He should be called Wiggles, I think, this <laughs> I know. morning. He's not I sure think. where he is right I know. now. He's adorable. He came from Texas. Okay. He actually was a stray, and he'd gotten his foot caught in a trap. Oh, poor so guy. So he's only got one toe on his back foot, Aww. but it doesn't slow him down a bit. He, That's good. He loves people, other kitties, loves to play. Very, very affectionate. And just like I said, just so so pretty, just and very oh, he's soft. Beautiful, too. yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully yeah. he gets a home. And yeah. Dr. Lipkin, you're here as well, and we're going to talk about hiking. Some tips when you're taking the pets for a hike. Yeah. So I've had a lot of clients ask me recently what they can do to make their hikes safer for their pets. Uh -huh. um, there's a couple things you can bring with you, kind of make a kit for them, uh, just in case you run into trouble. Um, so the first thing seems pretty obvious, but just uh, lots of food and water. Sometimes your hikes run uh, longer than you expect, and just like yourself, you don't want to get dehydrated. Uh, the next thing is actually Benadryl. Um, in case you, your pet has an allergic reaction, gets stung by a bee, um, you can ask your veterinarian for a dose for your pet. And then the, uh, the last thing I'd bring with you is bandaging supplies, um, just in case they cut their paws um, or you know, run up against, against some brush and need uh, some bandaging. Um, so finally, if you ha run into any trouble, I would just contact your vet when you get back and let them know what happened. You know, I've got a Mastiff and we went for a, a walk and it was a little too long. <laughs> and she was limping a little bit afterward and I'm like, oh, I killed my dog. <laughs> but it, they just say that it's just like us, they're sore after yep, they a long hike. Yep, they muscles and yet need some rest afterwards. I know, I was very scared, but, <laughs> but hey, it was good exercise for her. She needs the exercise. <laughs> To contact Dr. Lipkin at the <laughs> Evans East Hospital, call 303-757-7881. We've got the information on your screen there. And, of course, you can always contact the Rocky Mountain Feline Rescue. And Wylander here needs a new home, so your chance to give him a call and have a new home for him. Katie? <laughs>